Okay guys, today I'm going to be going over how to take a uh, virtual console game save from another region and transfer it to, an to another region. So what I accidentally did, I'll explain my story and how I ended up bringing this out, is I got the PAL version of Majora's Mac. Now I recently got the NTSC version, the USA version, which is the one that goes with my Wii. So I wanted to put my save on the NTSC one or whatever, just because uh, you know there's better gecko codes for it, you know a whole bunch of a whole bunch of reasons. I don't know. It's probably more than I can actually even uh, think of. Anyway, so uh, I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do here. So I've got my pal on my SD card here, and that was the USA version on the actual Wii menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it up just to show you that I have the save. Now this method, um, depending on what program you have, um, you can do this without both channels. So say for example you just want to convert the PAL save to the net and or to the USA version, then that this will work too. So you can go ahead and uh, be prepared to do that if that's what you want it to do. So I'm just here to show you uh, what save I'm converting just so you guys know that this isn't like some hoax type of thing. So, here we are. So, it's Link. You know, I've got two of the monster things. Eight masks or whatever. Zero rupees, all that stuff. Anyway, so we're going to go back to the Wii menu. So, our first step is that we have to play the game um, that we want uh, to convert our save to. So, say you had a PAL save. You don't need to play the PAL game you need to play the game that you want to convert the save to. So if I want to convert a PAL save into uh, USA, then i got to play the USA version. So just start it up. Honestly, you don't even have to actually like start a new file. You just need to um, have it... <coughs> sorry. You just need to start it up and get to that menu part that I was just at. So here we are, just like this, as you can see. And you can just leave from this point. Once you're in that menu, you're good. So go ahead and go to the Wii menu. Now, our next step is to start up the homebrew channel. That's right, you do need homebrew. I suppose I probably should have said that earlier, but it's pretty obvious, I'm not going to lie. If you want to do anything that's not, or anything, try, let's just put it this way. If you if it was possible without homebrew, you'd know about it. Wii's pretty good about making making sure you know what it can do. Anyway, so I'm going to put two programs, uh, Save Game Manager version 1.0 and Save Game Manager GX. Now, I'm pretty sure you can actually do the entire thing on GX, but I'm not really uh, too familiar with the program. Uh, but it is definitely more powerful because it works right off the SD card, uh, which is basically, you're definitely going to need this one if you uh, if you wanted to transfer the games or the game save uh, from your your what you call it from your uh, freak can't even remember the word uh, if you want like just a pal save like if you don't have the actual pal game or if you don't have the USA game then you're gonna need GX so I'm just gonna use GX because you can do it uh, with with both like if you have the game or if you don't so I'm just gonna show you guys what to do. Uh, you're probably going to need some stuff to actually install this. Actually, you know what, hold on. I'm going to switch the Wiimote here right now. Um, I'm going to delete these two things. These are some Mario Bro things that I was testing out. I've been having trouble trying to get this to work with um, with uh, actual like Wii games. Uh, but it's probably possible. Anyway, I'll put up a video if I ever figure that out. So, if you're working off the SD card, you will have your game save in... well. This is the root of your SD card, so you have your game save wherever you put it. But say you put it on the actual SD card, like where mo normal game saves would go, you go to private, Wii, title, sorry, title, and then it would be in here, the game code. So that's where mine would be, but there's nothing in there. Or Oh, there is something in there, but that's uh, the actual game. That's the uh, game. So I want to go to the Wii console, because we're on the SD card right now. And I'm just going to scroll down and look for it. 
Now, if I only have one file, there should only be one, one file, obviously. But there are two. And that's because one of them is the one we just created with our, um, when we went into the, the version of the game. And you can figure out which version it is by clicking. Now, see how there's an E there? That means USA. So we don't want that one. We want this one, NARP. So we're going to extract that and default to SD slash save games and press OK. Okay, if it's successfully, or whoops, sorry, I did not mean to do that. It should be uh, successfully extracted. So you just want to make sure they got in there, and as you can see, it's in there. So we are going to now pull the SD card. We'll first go back to the homebrew loader, and then we're going to pull the SD card out of the Wii and put it into our computer where I will continue the tutorial. Okay, guys, so we're here on the computer now, and um, it's pretty simple. You just got to go open up your app, which I've already put in. And, uh, sorry, my computer may get a little slow here. It's slow in the first place, but it's not going to help. Oh, crap. Sorry. I accidentally closed that. Um, but it's not going to help that it's uh, running the movie, the movie thing. Anyway, so we want to open up the SD card, and here we are in the root. So we're going to want to go to Save Games, which should be a new folder unless you've previously used this. Now here you are. This is your, uh, your Legend of Zelda. It's been extracted. It doesn't look like a normal normal game save now, does it? But uh, all we need to do to change this is we need to go to Rename, which I'm going to do, and change the 50 to 45, like so. You just press Enter. That changed it to, to USA and TSC, whatever the hell it's called. And uh, if you want, you can get rid of the index because we're not going back into the uh, file, but I'm just going to leave it there because it honestly doesn't matter. So go ahead and close this and uh, take your SD card out and put it back into your Wii. And I'll see you guys there. Okay, guys, so here we are back on the Wii again. And I'm obviously in the Homebrew channel where we left off. And so this time you're going to go to the Save Game Manager here. And you're going to go to Load. So instead of going, it's going to give you the option between Extract Mode and Install Mode. Go ahead and pick uh, Install Mode. Go to the WSD slot. And there should only be one game unless you have more. But there's definitely going to be Zelda Majora's Mask. Now if you look at the title ID, it's the 001, and it should be 45 at the end. Go ahead and press A to continue. Okay, now we had a error. So what we're going to do is, this may sometimes happen. What we're going to do... So we're going to go to the system menu. And we are going to install or start Majora's Mask again. Now I'm not sure why, I think it might be just a glitch in USB loader GX, but sometimes it'll just <coughs> it'll just screw around with you. So, I'm going to need to grab myself the, uh, the um, classic controller here. Okay, I got that. And, uh, okay, apparently it said it failed, but as you can see, it didn't, which is quite odd. Um, so... I don't know, it should say it may be installed for you guys, or it shouldn't, I don't know, but it definitely worked for me in the end there, but uh, what you want to do if it doesn't work is you just want to start this up again, uh, like I did there, start this up again, and press, uh, yeah, start up your game, or sorry, what I meant was start up the, start up uh, Majora's Mask. Uh, go to the title screen and then exit and redo that. If that then didn't work, then you must have done something wrong. But as you can see, uh, if you get an error, definitely go check it out because that's what I did. Uh, what I imagine that could have been from is the index thing. Uh, probably because it's different programs, it didn't know what the index thing was. And uh, try to install it, but that didn't work. Um, so it installed everything except for the index honestly isn't that much problem. So, I don't know, you guys can fool around with that, but it definitely ended up working, so that's what matters, right? Anyway, uh, 
hopefully soon I'll be trying to show you guys how to do this with actual just normal Wii games. Uh, so I hope you'll tune in for that. So uh, if anyone actually has any uh, knows anything about that, I, I I'm pretty sure it involves some hex editing stuff, but I've been having trouble with that. Anyway, if anyone can help me out with that, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, so thanks. Uh, comment, subscribe, like, whatever. Uh, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really care. Don't want to be a huge YouTube star or anything like that. I just want to help you guys. So thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully see you soon.